Okay, so I know last video I said we were gonna jump into the code, but before we do that, I want to make some clarifications before we get started. Okay, so first, the videos from this point on are specific to Android development and not iOS. In the future, I might make an iOS BLE tutorial, but right now the focus is on Android development. Second, I should also add that this tutorial is a little advanced and assumes you already have a working knowledge about basic UI related stuff to Android like activities, intents, dialogues, extras, XML resource files, manifest files, list view adapters, etc, etc. We are going to use a template app I've created that is going to handle most of the UI stuff, but if you don't understand how those things work, you might get a little lost while I jump around files explaining the more Bluetooth specific stuff. If you do get lost, just send me a message or email or comment on the video and I will try my best to help you out. Please ask questions. Third, we are going to use the following services, service connection, broadcast listener, and obviously Bluetooth APIs. As the tutorial goes on, I will briefly explain what they are and why we need them. You won't need to have a deep understanding of them, but it would be best if you did these tutorials already, having an idea what they are and how they work. Again, send me an email or message if you get confused and ask questions. Fourth, you will want the following things while you go through these tutorials. Since we will be using API 19, you want an Android device running at least Android 4.4 or higher. At the time of writing this tutorial, Android Studio says 70.9% of the devices active on the Google Play Store can run code using API 19. That Android device you are using will also need to have at least Bluetooth 4.0. And finally, optionally, you will want a peripheral Bluetooth device. You don't absolutely need this, but it will be easier to test the code and know that it works if you have this. I will be using LightBlue Explorer on iOS to create virtual peripherals to test this code with. I believe if you have an iOS device with Bluetooth 4.0 or higher, you should be able to use that app to test this code. So if you have an iPhone 4S or newer, or an iPad 3 or newer, you should be set. Alternatively, you could try using other devices that emit Bluetooth low energy data, like the beacons I mentioned in the previous videos. They might show up on your phone when you test the code, um, but your results may vary, and I can't quite guarantee that the code from this tutorial will work, work with it since I haven't tried it myself. Besides that, at the moment, I'm not aware of any other useful ways to test this Bluetooth low energy code, but I will try researching some more ways. Um, check in the video description for updates. I will list any Bluetooth low energy testing alternatives there if I find any. Okay, so now that I got that out of the way, in the next video, we'll do some real coding. I promise.